two billiard balls are drawn with replacement from a bag containing 15 balls numbered 1 through 15. Let the random variable x be the sum of the two numbers drawn. Find the probability mass function of x and the probability that x equals 17. Now because the two billiard balls are drawn with replacement, this is equivalent to rolling two 15-sided die. And that's why you see this picture that is kind of reminiscent of what you saw when in the last chapter when we were rolling two dies. So if you, if you number these as the first draw here on the rows 1 through 15 and the second draw here again 1 through 15 then you know that there are 15 squared which is 225 equally likely outcomes that are given by the 225 little squares. So let's start out with the smallest x can be and compute the probability x is equal to 2. The way you would get a 2 for the sum of the two numbers drawn is to get a 1 from the bag, put it back into the bag and draw the one ball again and that's a 2 so the probability of that is 1 over 225. Next the probability x is equal to 3 well, how can you get a 3? You can get a 1 on the first draw, followed by a 2 on the second draw, or a 2 on the first draw, followed by a 1 on the second draw, so the probability there is 2 out of 225. So if you keep going along, the probability of getting, for example, 16 well, that corresponds to all of these elements right across here, namely 15 and 1, 14 and 2, um, 13 and 3, etc. And if you count across, there are 15 of those out of the 225 possibilities. But then at that point, when you go up to probability x equals 17, it starts going back down. So we've got to figure out a way to write that. And you can write that in... Uh, the following fashion. f of x in this case can be written as 15 minus the absolute value of x minus 16 divided by 225 and that is over the support x equals 2, 3, 4 all the way up to the largest you could get is down here in this corner which is pulling the 15 ball on the first and on the second draw and so your total for the sum here could be as high as 30. Finally the question asks for the probability that x equals 17 and uh, to find the probability that the random variable x takes on the value 17 you simply find little f of 17 when you plug 17 into here you get the absolute value of 17 minus 16 which is 1. 15 minus 1 is 14. So the answer is 14 divided by 225. And those 14 correspond to all of the different ways of getting a 17. And I'm putting dots in those spots as we go across. Now if we'd like to take a look at what that probability mass function looks like. Here is some R code. X runs from 2 to 30. F is 15 minus the absolute value of X minus 16 divided by 225 and then we plot X on the horizontal axis, F on the vertical axis, the type equals H will give them as spikes and here is the distribution another symmetric probability mass function.